again with our round two of Dark Side Chats with Steve. So Steve's done an awful lot of long distance racing and I know a lot of people who listen to this who like are thinking about or have done passage making. So when you're out doing this, I don't think you can really stop and you have to get into some sort of rhythm. So how does that work, Steve? Yeah, I've had people come to me and say, well, Steve, I'm saying, well, I've had that race to Spain took three weeks. Well, how do you anchor at night <laughs> you know, in the middle of the ocean? Of course you don't. You've got to keep on going. And so you have to set up watch systems. And the most simple watch system is like four hours off, on, and four hours off. Four on, four off, four off for 24 hours. That comes out with six watch systems, which means that if this, this is fine for a, a couple of days race, but if you're gonna do it a week or longer, that means that you're gonna have the same watch every day that you had the first day. In other words, if you're midnight to 4 a.m. the first day, you're gonna be midnight to 4 a.m. every day afterwards. And that can be pretty boring and, and uh, it's not the best watch anyway. So. What you need to have is a, an uneven number of watch systems, of watches, say five watch systems. And another one that we did in one of the earlier races was a 44466. Now what that does is you'll start at 8 a.m., 8 to noon, 8 to midnight, midnight to 4 a.m., and 4 to 8 a.m., and then you add a six hour one to 2 p.m., and another six hour one to 8 p.m. And um, there are positives and negatives to this. Um, the, the positive, of course, is that it's it's shorter watches at night when your concentration isn't so good and you're thinking that you're possibly sleepy, you know? And then you have some longer watches during the day that you can get a good day's sleep in. You know, you can get four or five hours sleep. Um, then, a, then the third time, the third one that we've done, which I think is, is one of the best, is 44565. That's like midnight to 4 a.m., 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., then 5 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and then 6 to, uh, to, to, to 7 o'clock in the afternoon, and then 5 to midnight, and 44565. Five. That gives you short ones in the, in the wee hours of the morning, uh, and it gives you some long ones so you can get decent sleep in. Um, and I also wanted to say, you know, uh, you've heard of eight bells and all's well. Well, on Dyna, we had a, a clock that rang bells. So uh, if, if there was a four hour watch and I had to be up for a four hour watch um, and I was sleeping, when seven bells came, ar came around, that is ding, 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 ding. And that seven bells means it's half an hour before having to get up uh, for watch. And, it, uh, and I'm sleeping, but subconsciously, I know that it's time to get up and awake. I wake up and go up and get ready for watch. So it's interesting, that's what the, the bells are. And uh, I think they're very, very handy and good to have. So that's my little instruction on different types of watch systems that you can use. So I do have a question because sure. I, it's called watch, I guess, because you were supposed to be on deck watching. I mean, we've always, we've always called them watch systems, but uh, that's weird. But the other thing, uh, does everybody sleep when they're off? I mean, when you say you're four on, four off, do you find that people get in a rhythm where they can actually get to sleep in those oh, God, in the middle yes. of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, um, as you you know, in my younger years, sleep just like that, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. You, you, but if 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 it's an uneventful sort of race, it's almost too much sleep. I mean, you're you're not going to be sleeping every off, off watch. They're going to be uh, reading a book or uh, learning celestial navigation, which I did off lot of on off watches, just trying to practice and learn celestial navigation. Um, and so that's the way it goes. <laughs>